where you see basic terms which are required to understand the digital working of such applications under the title of the original circuit interpreting devices. As we know that uh, in the circuit breaker, basically the two important qualities to present is contact and the contact. And as normal operating condition, the fixed contact and the contacts are in with each other. But when the fault occurs under a normal condition, your new contact is separated and are being stuck between two contacts. The whole uh, thing uh, or working of the circuit breaker is literally belongs to the extinguishing medium. Are. Now, uh, these are the some important terms which requires to understand the working of circuit breaker arc voltage, restriking voltage, and the total voltage. Now, uh, this is the view for in which you can see that this is a restriking voltage, this is a recovery voltage, this is fault current, this is system voltage, this is current zero. Now, you can see step by step arc voltage. As we know that uh, under abnormal condition, when you contact it separately. At the same time, whatever the voltage appears across the both the contact, that is called as the arc voltage. Now we can see that is the voltage that appears across the contact of the circuit breaker during the arcing period, that is called as the arc voltage. As soon as the contact of the circuit breaker separate and arc is formed, the voltage that appears across the contact during the arcing period, which is called as the arc voltage. This is the proper definition of the arc voltage. The magnitude of the arc voltage is low. Except for the period of all current wave is at or near to zero position. Now you can also see in the figure at the current zero position, the arc voltage increases rapidly to peak value. Next one is this peak voltage causes to maintain the current flow in the following arc. Uh, uh, look at this when the contact separate separated, the arc is stop between them. And the voltage which are responsible to maintaining the arc, that voltage is known as the arc voltage. Now, second one is the restriking voltage. Now, in the uh, circuit breaker, uh, when the arc stop between the both the contacts, uh, we are going to insert the, uh, some of the medium which increases the dielectric strength. We are uh, having the objective to extinguish that arc. So, we are going to increase the dielectric strength. If at a one time, or uh, for an example, if the dielectric strength goes decreases, at the same time, if your arc is again restricted, that instant, whatever the voltage appear across that instant is known as a restricting voltage. In proper view, we can understand that is the transient voltage that appear across the contact at or near current zero during the arcing period. The current interruption in the circuit depends upon the restriking voltage. If the restriking voltage rises more rapidly than the dielectric strength of the medium, in between them, the contact arc will persist for another half cycle. In next half cycle, the arc offers a restriking that is called as a restriking concept. And whatever the voltage appears across behind that, that is called as a restriking voltage. Now here in the diagram you can see that this is the cycle, the restriking voltage. When your dielectric strength goes decreasing, at the same time this restriking voltage increases. Now next one is the recovery voltage. As so definitely when your dielectric strength is enough increases at one time this arc is completely extinguished, but from the next half cycle uh, you are the system voltage will uh, go in normal operation, but it will take some time. Recovery voltage, it is a normal frequency 50 Hz RMS voltage that appear across the contact of the circuit breaker after final arc extension. It is approximately equal to the system voltage. Immediately after the final current interruption, the voltage that appear across the contact has a transient part. Correct. The voltage across the contact is of normal frequency, which is known as your recovery voltage. Over a arc extension from a part may have a system voltage to a suddenly normal condition to may anger, it will take a small amount of time. And during this time, you can observe some transient in that cycle. Correct? 
that whatever the voltage we are required to stable, that voltage is not included in the Thank you very much. Hope uh, these are three important terms which you are very beneficial for to understand the basic terms of the circuit breakers. Thank you.